Well, I think it's absolutely bizarre that a political leader would put out a tweet with such racist language in it. I don't think, by the way, that Jerry Adams is a racist, but I do think that his judgment uh, has been once again called into question. And of course, Jerry then tried to contextualise it. There is no context for racist language. It should never, ever be used. And then, of course, Jerry Adams pretends now that he was a leading light in the civil rights movement. That's about as credible as his claim not to be a leading light in the IRA. His apology simply doesn't wash because in the first instance he tried to explain away his reasoning. He described it, I think, as irony. And then he's now apologised for it, and unrightly so. But in any normal society, in any normal political democratic society, uh, someone of his standing and uh, someone who is the leader of an all-island party, really their political membership should be saying to themselves, is this person we want as, their, as our leader? But that's a matter for Sinn Féin at the end of the day. I, I note it has been notable that many senior members in the party have been very slow in coming forward to try and defend his actions. At the end of the day, all I can look to is what other parties would do and I know have done. We only have to look to see what has been happening in the Labour Party and the rest of the United Kingdom. And for my party, we would implement very swift investigation and disciplinary powers should any member uh, commit a misdemeanour in that way. Well, the comment by uh, Jerry Adams that he tweeted out after watching the film, I think is absolutely horrendous. Um, it's horrendous in terms of the language that he used, the use of the N-word, but it's also horrendous in that it, I think, shows what he really thinks about Northern Ireland. The lack of understanding he has of the history of this part of the world and also his lack of understanding of the really extreme situation of people who endured slavery in the 19th century in America. To confer, uh, compare the experience of someone in Ballamurphy in the 20th century or the 21st century with 19th century pre-Civil War slavery in America is just bizarre and crazy.